So from the inside, Nunna Wadding, Grace Kelly of Ballarat, now the fastest mover, Wellington, Frankston and Sandringham. So Grace Kelly, our Victorian junior champion, flying through here. I think she's only an under 14 or 15 athlete, but she's making a big first leg here for under 16 Ballarat region. Great to see our country parts of Victoria represented. So Ballarat will change first, and it was a good change. Franks, uh, well, sorry, Frankston will change second. Then we go back to Sandringham, Nutterwaddy, and also Wellington. Now we come down to the home straight for the first time. Ballarat just holding off Frankston. Out wide at Sandringham's B team. Nunnawadding and Wellington next through. Ballarat, whoa, she's gone quick there and it's a good change again. Ballarat getting the little things right. Frankston in second. Sandringham B having a little bit of a pirouette there at the change but they've done okay. Wellington the next quickest mover on the track at the moment and Nunnawadding. So we've gone through 500 metres of this 1600. It's Ballarat putting 80 metres, trying to put out 80 metres into Frankston very quickly. Good battle in third there. That's Wellington and Sandringham B back to Nunawadding. So with 1,000 metres to go in this medley relay, it's Ballarat out in front. The time they're chasing is about 4.10 approximately. Wellington's gone from fifth to second on this leg. That's a big run there by Ada Hill. So Ada Hill on the 400 is moving quickly. Ballarat still lead. Wellington, Frankston, Sandy B, and Nunna Wadding making a big finish down this 400 metre leg. So with 800 metres to go, we're going to need about a, about a 2.16 for the win for Ballarat. Has she got it in? I'm not sure. I can't give you the form of Chloe Warmington there on the last leg, but that's what they need to get onto the win. About 2.21 to get onto the podium. Wellington's next. Then it's Nutter Wadding, Sandringham, Frankston. Wellington might be the one to watch here. I was worried about the Ballarat, could they run the time to get on the podium, but Wellington might be the one that actually takes them in this time final number two. They are clearly the fastest mover. And it is Bianca Croucher there who's flying along for the Wellington colours. So we've got regional clubs leading the way here. Ballarat Region, Wellington Athletics, then back to Nunawadding, Sandringham B and Frankston. So with 500 to go, Ballarat now will be joined by Wellington. We'll give you a time update as they go through at the bell. I think it's going to be pretty tough to get on the podium from here. It's going to be a big last lap from Bianca Croucher to get there. But she is a chance. She's moving well. So Bianca Croucher goes through for Wellington at about 3.08. Ballarat's next. Then we go back to Nunawadding, Sandy B and Frankston. Wellington's had a big last leg here, but can it be enough? The time we're watching is about 4.10, 4.15. Remember, might get you a medal. She's got 250 metres to go, Wellington. Ballarat's gutsy, holding on in second. Nunna Wadding, Sandy B having a look over her shoulder and she sees Frankston not far away. 200 metres remaining. Bianca Crouch has pulled away here. She started with about a 60 metre differential and she's now turned into a 60 metre lead. Been a big last leg for Wellington. Ballarat region hanging on in second. Nunawadding, Sandy B and Frankston, not much has changed in the last 200 metres there. With 100 to go, I don't think we're quite going to get on the podium for Wellington, but it's been a big run here. Clap them home, we've got our Wellington team there, it'll take out time final number two. Might be just outside those top three of the first time final, but it was a fantastic last leg there for Wellington. Ballarat after the early leader, they'll be the second team through. Big run for our Ballarat region. And Nunna Wadding, Sandy B and Frankston are going to fight out the minor places here in time final number two. So Sandringham will just hold off the Sandringham, uh, sorry, Nunna Wadding will just hold off the Sandringham B team and Frankston.